The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckwad. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he absolutely loves penises and hates vaginas. Please welcome Mr. J.P. I told you last week, man, I don't hate him. I know, but I wish I had one. it's a good intro. Yeah, it's, it's true. a good intro. And then he is the only traveling comedian on this episode or on the show, the crew. Who uh, loves please, vaginas who and Who loves hates vaginas penises. and hates penises. Please welcome Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hello. Hello, viewing audience. All right. Are you ready to get into why you're mad? We'll get to that here in a second. I feel like you need to get it out. I do need to get it out. But we have an excellent episode for you guys this week. Uh, First of all, if this is the very first time that you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. And this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and a fuck. (laughs) Oh, sorry. And offend people who have, uh, you know, really thin skin. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here and thank you and goodbye. (sighs) Now to the four of you that stuck around. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We've got a great episode. We've got headlines. We've got Never Have I Ever. We have That's Where I Draw the Line. Questions and Preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we get to that, we're going to kick this thing off with our week, week recap, where we like to tell you guys what happened to us over the last week. And uh, JP... Can I uh, can I guess? Yeah, man, but you're gonna be wrong. Uh oh, I've been sick, so did I give? It I to really you? didn't do anything. Did like I? I usually don't do anything, <laughs> but I really didn't do anything. Like yeah, I smoked and played video games. Did you bowl? Bowled once. Bowl? Yeah, yeah. How'd you do? Really well. So here's the other thing. You um, you want to bring a pen? Yeah, I'm going to. You're going to bring a pen? Yeah. Uh, to to this studio, a bowling pen. Yeah. Oh yeah, of you bowling a, a three hundred. Yeah. How uh, how are you getting that through? Like Customs. approval? Customs. No, just approval. What do you mean approval? Who's going to approve that? You know, you get something. I here. just did. Oh, okay. I already approved it. Whatever right. I told you, I was bringing it over. Yeah, that's okay. It's totally fine. Don't make me fucking take <laughs> shit in this book. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I know where you're going, I know, man. I know where I you're know. getting at, dude. Hundred percent. I'd let you do it. <laughs> You're a real piece of shit, man. Uh, Was that a reference to him putting a bowling pin in his yeah. ass? No. Oh, no. 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 But it you has like, been there. You no, were just, like, "How are you going to get it. it here?" Just allowing him to put. Oh wait, it on. maybe I do have it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. No. Uh, but uh, here's the other thing. There was actually a a listener who had a question for you. What a dumb question, too. And it's Jonathan Giddens. He wants to know, JP, how high is too high for you? I already told the story. Okay, but let's when do it. When you try to get into someone else's car <laughs> that is the wrong color and wrong make and model, okay, that's too high. That's too high. <laughs> that's too but, high. But, like, do you know whenever you're, like, way too high? After. A- oh, oh, really? There's, like, a hangover from weed? Not. No. No, I like, mean, like, okay, I smoke. And then I'm like, oh, I'm all right. Let me smoke some more. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, about you know, 20 minutes later, and you're like, fuck. And you're man. like, I took too much. Can I even get high? And then I smoke again. <laughs> and then fucking, you're on your way to record the podcast, and you're like, fuck, I might have smoked too much. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, all you right. know, but it's it's Fair too enough. late. 
It's, yep. it's much like alcohol. Okay. You're drinking, you're fine, and then the next thing you know, whoops. <laughs> that's 100% yeah, true. It's the same thing. Oh, that's 100%. You like, can't unsmoke it, so then like, you're no, like, well, That's I guess been I one of my it. wishes, yeah. though, since yeah. I've been a pothead. I wish there was like a button and on I my body button. that would just make me unhigh immediately. <laughs> so if I eat, if I eat, then I do come down faster if I eat. Sure, so yeah, that get, makes sense. If I get stupid high... I'll eat something and fucking just kind of hang out for a minute, and it'll pass. Yeah, and you drink. But it's rare. You drink from occasionally. Oh, I used to drink a lot. That's why I don't drink anymore. I know, I know, but yeah. you would drink occasionally now. Yeah, here and there. So can you uh, come rare. with me on this? Uh, so, like, whenever I take a shot of tequila at the bar, yeah, and I'm like five minutes later, I'm like, I don't feel anything. Yeah, and then I decide, ah, let's take another shot. And then you feel a little something. You think, oh, wouldn't it be nice to feel some yeah. more? <laughs> <laughs> that's how we yeah. get in that's trouble. How, right. That's how all of them are. That's like yeah. eating weed. And you're <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think it did anything. I'm going to eat exactly. another one. And then you're like, I and shouldn't I, have eaten and then another it, one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I assume that heroin is the same way. I've never tried heroin, but I have it's no idea. Awesome. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm kidding. But I mean, it's got to be. It, it, it has to it be. Has it has to be. a whole it bunch. It fucking of, ruins I, lives. It doesn't. That, that, yeah, that's my joke on stage. Is like people don't smoke crack and be like, it was fine. <laughs> people <laughs> smoke crack and they're like, oh, I got to get some more of this. I figured out the answer to all my problems. <laughs> oh shit! All right, Mike. What? How have you been over the last, what is it, four days? I've been good. I went to Nebraska and did some shows. How was the shows in Nebraska? Friday night was fun. It was a little bar. It probably held 100 people, and we had 100 people in there, and, and it was a, a fun show. They were an older crowd, but they were all like, like they laughed at the fact that they didn't want to laugh at my jokes, and I called nice. them out on it. And, and then Saturday night was uh, just one of the weirdest things I've ever done in my life. Uh, it was a bar that probably would have held, oh, 300 people, like shoulder to shoulder, if it, they sure. were standing room only. And I think we had eight people in there. And, oh, wow. And, like, oh. one of them was the bartender, and the other one was, like, the and waitress. And they made you do the oh, show. No. They didn't make us, but it was but me, it, and, and, yeah, we wouldn't have gotten paid. Right. And we were like, no, we're oh. doing it. We're definitely doing it. Oh, and, but I, That's the worst. It was. I kind of like stuff like that, because then I can, I'm not doing, uh, oh, I, hey. It's my grandma. Uh-oh. Hold on. I got to talk to her. Okay. Hello. Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the dying. interview thing that I said I was going to do. <laughs> Dude, fuck <laughs> off. You know, fuck yeah, that. We're right be. in the middle of it. So, oh, that would be horrible. <laughs> I'm dying. Come home. Okay, I will. I love you. <laughs> the ambulance isn't going to make it on Bye. time. <laughs> like. All right. I knew she was going to call because I called her earlier and she didn't hey, answer. Since we're fucking <laughs> doing whatever now, I need, I need to turn me up man. oh I'm sorry. i can't i don't know can you hear me all right yeah is that you yeah that's better can okay. you will you turn my Much headphones better. down yeah i can do that oh no that's me. off uh that's would you. be good for mike you just turned mine way mine up. went way down oh well then how about that no nope, you know what happened. how long have you been doing this show nothing changed for me uh, Check. that's Check. better for me a little yeah that's good for me how about you mine got way louder a second ago well Check. then Check. shit Check. is Check. that you Check. nope what which one is you? That's me. How okay. do you not know? Uh, how yeah. about that? Yeah, that's I don't know. Okay. I All should right. have never Fuck. said anything. We're basically back to where we were. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, so Anyways. yeah, I have my do not disturb turned on, but my grandma is yeah, the only one. She's, that. She, yes, she's on right. like the personal friend she area. Is. She's yeah. the only one I know that can call me during podcasts and wake me up from naps. Uh, well, that makes sense because you're a good grandson. Yeah. Have I told you that before? I don't know. You're a good dude. You're a good dude, Mike. I love you, man. Yeah. Uh anything else? <laughs> I mean, I mean like like so you had you I had the show. Shut the fuck up. Too. Shut the it, fuck up. It, 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 fuck up. It. it might work. <laughs> I you think I'm a you. you think I'm good? I think you're a good dude. Yeah. All right. All but right. yeah, no, it was uh fun. I had a good time. Um what else? Made some money. Um I listened to what did I listen to? Oh, the final book of the Dresden Files, which is, uh, have you heard of that? Nope. It's about this dude. His name's Harry. He's a, a wizard, 
but he's also Harry a, the Wizard. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like Harry Potter. Yeah, but his started way before Harry Potter. Oh, There's, okay. This is book like nineteen or something that just came out. Oh, really? And uh, it's this dude. He's a, a under like investigator guy. What's that called? A private investigator. Yeah. But he's also a wizard, and so people <laughs> that will, probably helps. People will call him and be like, "Hey, my kid's missing. Find my kid and stuff like that." But then every once in a while, people will call and be like, "Hey, there's a fucking vampire trying to attack." Like it says, we're gonna need a wizard. He has, <laughs> he has his he has wizard listed in the phone book, and so oh, good, mo- good. it's mostly like prank calls and people wanting like parties and stuff. But every once in a while, he gets a real call, and he's like, "I'm nice. on my way." Yeah, it's really good. Anyway, look, I have goosebumps just talking about it. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It, it is. And the the it's the last book. Every one of them ends on a cliffhanger. So there's another one coming up. You and think I've they make those in audio books? Year or something? They do. That's, well, then that's the way I have to how, do it. That's oh, how, that's how, how I've done to. all of them. I, yeah. I don't know how to read. That's how I read. Is I listen. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Ma didn't go in for all that book learning. <laughs> that's one of the most famous things that Mike has ever done. Is the audio books? Yeah. Audio books joke. Yeah. Yeah, it is, and it sucks because it wasn't even me that originally posted it. It was the eight hundred pound gorilla that yeah. did. So they got all the clicks all the and, oh, yeah. and shit. Uh, that sucks. But it's still cool to have it floating out out there. That's good. Uh, so, okay, first I'm gonna say I got really excited for Shogun because I really wanted to watch Shogun, and it turns out there are two more fucking episodes of it. And so oh. it's 10. There are 10 episodes. Of I this started show. watching a show on Apple TV yesterday, and there were only three episodes. I was so fucking mad. I'm what mad show was shit. it? Sugar. Okay. Go ahead. I'm madder than shit about Shogun, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not that big deal. I did want to give a shout out to uh, somebody I found on TikTok who I really like. His name is, uh, I want to say it's, is it, is it Shaq or Speck? I can't remember. <laughs> Well, I'm I don't sure know. he appreciates the name What's drop. up, brother? <laughs> well, I don't know. Hey, Speck. <laughs> yeah. Just put uh, them together, yeah. Speck. Uh, however, okay. So today is a Sunday, and we're recording, and I just got back from golfing. And oh, I thought you always dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> so JP and Mike have already kind of hinted at Scotty's really pissed. I am really pissed right now. <laughs> I love it. I am so angry right now. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't like Scotty's pissed. I was like, this is wildly inappropriate. Ah, uh, no, no. But tell us why. Very entertaining, though. Yeah, I, it's it's in, uh, inappropriate the same way that like somebody farting in their daughter's <laughs> face is. And I'm like, he shouldn't do that. But this he, is fun to watch. He farted in my face. Uh, I have never been so pissed off at, about anything related to golf in my entire fucking life. Never. Never. That's a long time. I have never, at least if somebody comes up to me and tells me something, at least I can be like, ah, yeah, you know what? I was doing that. (laughs) So ladies and gentlemen, this, we were, we we played in McPherson, which is an hour away and it's a nice golf course. I shot well, I I shot an 83, which I really want to break into the seventies. Impressive. It's good. That is. Um, but on the, on the ninth hole, we're teeing off and this guy in a golf cart with like a fucking like, I don't know, wind thing around it comes up to us as we're teeing off and he steps out and he's wearing uh, jeans on a golf course. And he comes up to us as we're (laughs) teeing off. To me, I'm like, that's fine. I don't care. No, it's not okay. It's not not okay. okay. I'm wearing white pants right now. Uh, But he comes up to us as I'm teeing, as I'm teeing off. I'm the one that's up (laughs) and I'm teeing off. And he goes, Hey, I uh, just want to let you guys know, um, you're not supposed to drive over native grass. Well, you dumb son of a bitch. Were you driving over the native grass? Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Man, what a dick. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. But but he says it so condescendingly. I'm on his side so far. <laughs> Stay <laughs> off the lawn. And he asks, he's, but the way he says, and this is how he starts the conversation. He goes, he goes, uh, you guys must not have golfed here. Uh, before and, and i'm like and had you we have, we have many like, times yeah. and that's whenever he asks the yeah. native grass comment and and i go okay when did we do that and he was like oh back on four and back on three and i'm like okay i'm so sorry and he kind of has this this kind of like aura of of <laughs> i'm dick. above yeah, you right. kind of thing 
And it pissed me the fuck off. That's what did it. It made me so angry that I... Remember? I told you you were going to do this. Uh I had had no... Like, and I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to. And if we did, sorry, like have nothing. But he made the comment after that. He said that. And he goes, he goes, we want you to be able to come back threatening and saying that if you do it again, I would have found the nearest. I would have found the nearest patch of native grass and fucking just went and started fucking yanking it out of the fucking. The ground. back nine, I drove over native grass as much as I possibly <laughs> yeah, fucking could. Yeah. How do you tell what native grass is? We were looking it's for all a ball. grass, fucking native. So we were looking it's for grass that goes. Grass. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It was, yeah, it was not <laughs> that kind of native, dude. Not that kind of native. It was uncut. <laughs> it was uncut <laughs> dead grass, and we were looking for a ball. My buddy hit. Uh, he hooked one into the rough, and we were looking for a ball and so naturally we just took the golf cart out there and we were kind of driving around no big deal and uh we were looking for as well Uh, apparently all over the native fucking grass (laughs) and pissed this guy off somehow and uh it it made him mad enough to come up and talk to us maybe he planted the grass did you ask him who he was uh no we didn't and like what I his authority have. position no we didn't i would have asked him to see his badge oh, yeah i'd no. have been like have so really do you work here or are you yeah, just right. like a guy or are you just a it's, fucking because if you're just a guy then you can go fuck yourself yeah. hold on because it gets way better so um we end up like we apologize and we say oh i'm sorry you know we didn't really know and we end seems up, like that's what you did <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so just like that i'm sure me, really nice me in my brain fucking stewing <laughs> just absolutely getting ready to lose my shit and i ended up hitting a hitting a, a massive drive off that next hole and and like the guys like look at me and like jesus christ did that guy get to you and i'm like oh yeah yeah he did he fucking pissed me off ridiculously but uh we're ended up playing on the back nine and then all of a sudden we see all of a sudden we see this guy and his five other people that are playing with him and five people have carts, and they are driving their Not carts. A, tell me it wasn't on the native grass. On the fucking oh. green. Oh, on, on the, the green. green. They drove That's worse. their fucking carts on the fucking green. That's worse. And he's coming and telling us what to do. And that absolutely pisses did me you, off. Did you drive your cart up there and fucking go off on I them? wanted to. I Lo- would have. Okay, so here's the deal. Like the guy that I golf with is uh, kind of a. I'd have rammed him. He's a PR guy, so he kind of, you know, he tells me, "Hey, Scotty, you need to calm the fuck down," and um, and I did, and we ended up playing the rest of the 18 holes. I shot well. I shot an 83, like I said, Um, (laughs) but uh, at this particular golf course, they have uh, garages for these golf carts for these members so the members have like their own garage and shit like that and so i was watching them i was oh, yeah. i was waiting for them because they were right behind us yeah, i didn't yeah, know yeah, that right. i thought this guy was a fucking like uh He's, like groundskeeper or something like that no i picked him out and i fucking found him and he was in the group behind us and i watched them finish and go and park their golf cart out into the garage and they stayed there and they started drinking beers so I had to, to decide on whether or not I needed to go up and say something. <laughs> JP, what do you think I did? Did you go? Fuck yeah, I did. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I did. Well, yeah, that's awesome. But obviously it didn't give you the satisfaction. No, you should have hit him. Or you, you wouldn't have, hit you him. wouldn't have shown up angry. But here's the thing. I was they also. They might still be there. I was outnumbered by a bunch of 70 year olds. Yeah, whoop de do. So I'm almost seven. I, I, and, and my PR guy, my PR guy, Bob. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's a good dude. Yeah. And he was like, no, dude, he's going to be no help. Like, Look, no, he's don't, begging. He's like, no, don't, don't you dare do it. He's like, I will don't watch you it. get your ass kicked. 100%. <laughs> so he's like, no, don't do it. And I'm like, fine, fine. It's okay. No big deal. What are we doing after uh, the game? Or what are we doing after the, the round? And he's like, ah, we can go downtown and have a couple of beers. I'm like, sure, sounds good. So I get in my truck, and guess where I park that fucking truck next to? Those guys. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Roll down the window, and I just <laughs> I just let him have it. I'm like, hey, thank you so much for letting us uh, know that we were driving on native grass, but every single course in the United fucking States says don't drive up onto the fucking green. And I let him have it. 
And then you peeled out. And I peeled out. <laughs> <laughs> how, very, how very 17 year old girl of you. I don't care. And now was, you're never I welcome was so back. So pissed. No, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. What if that guy's like the owner of the place? He probably you, is. And he's he like, probably yeah. is. It doesn't matter. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy and his fucking friends, <laughs> you handicapped pieces of shit. I was telling JP earlier, <gasps> like, in my house, me and my dad, we would watch Chiefs games or whatever. And, and when there was a touchdown, we would both just kind of go, yeah. And like, you know, like look at each other like, way to go, you know. And, and my parents had some <laughs> friends over one time, and I was probably eight or nine years old. And that was my first experience of my life of watching a game with somebody and having them like stand up and be like, yeah. And then like something bad happened and they're like, Oh, what the fuck? And I just remember me and my dad looking at each other like, geez, like these people are ridiculous. That's not how you enjoy sports. Yeah. And so anytime I see anybody get literally upset over something sports related or like that, where it's just like a guy said a thing to me and it fucking ruined my life. And it's like people say terrible things to me all the time. And I, I had to call my wife. Really? I to, had to call my wife. To be like, baby, calm me down. Yeah, yeah I did. Tell and me I, I'm going to be okay. I told her. I said, I said I've said i never been so pissed off in my entire life. And yes, she, I think and, you have. No, Surely. not really. Surely this wasn't no, the fucking listen, one, I, dude. Come I, on, bro. I normally <laughs> don't get so pissed off. I just don't. It's but, but dude, something that fucking guy. You're far too old. Pissed for me off. that to be the thing, dude. Right? Uh, like that can't be possible. I wanted there's so something else bad. that has pissed you if, off. If, that might have been like valid. If if I could have, <laughs> if I could have gone back into time, and and <laughs> and fuck Bob. But if, if I could have just gone on there and told them, like, hey, every Dude. single fucking course in America says, don't do what you're doing, it would made me feel so much better. We should get a rototiller. And we should just go out there and start <laughs> rototilling everything. All the native grass. I, I, All the native grass. I, I, I know. I, I know that this podcast has some kind of like you know, you know, some yeah. validity. Yeah. Like we have enough people that listen to this show. Let's all show up there and fucking loot the place. Let's go to Turkey <laughs> Creek <laughs> in McPherson, Kansas. Uh, I don't and know. And kick the should. shit out of this fucking guy. <laughs> hey man, I heard some people got in trouble at the Capitol for almost the same thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh Jesus! Let's all meet. There, yeah, peacefully, <laughs> there. patriotically, Peace, peacefully, and patriotically, <laughs> kick the shit out of this dude. I know what I'm going to dress fuck. up like. <laughs> God damn it! I've never been so pissed off in my entire life, and I normally don't. Oh, I, I don't feel. I cannot tell you like, how happy it makes me to see you, man. <laughs> I swear to God, oh. I don't know why this fucking like just triggered a fucking thing in me. I, I was have having not a great no day, idea. Until and now, now it's better. Dude, like I'm fucking. I'm Skipping happy. rainbows now. I'm happy that I made your day better. Dude, you did, man. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, man. So fuck I'm that so guy. Glad we did fuck this that today. motherfucker that did that. I, I hate every single ounce of your soul, and I hope you die very soon. Anyways, let's kick this off. Let's go, let's go to the headlines. You want to go to the headlines? Let's do yep. it. Let's do it. Uh, we've got some headlines uh, for this week's episode. By the way, this is a Sunday episode. Uh, so if anything comes out on Monday or Tuesday, like World War Three, we didn't know we about didn't it. We didn't know about it. <laughs> that said, we are pretty sure yeah. that uh, when you listen to this show, you'll be in a bunker. <laughs> 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 we are. Uh, but no. Uh, so first things first, uh, Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice allegedly caused an accident involving half a dozen cars on a Dallas highway. No, he definitely did it. Oh, he definitely did he it. He called him and told him he did it. Uh -huh. yeah, allegedly. He's like, he's like oh, sorry. The fuck <laughs> he, goes, he goes, sorry about that. Yeah, And no they're shit. like, he's like, I'll pay for everything. Yeah. And they're like, well, obviously he was fucked up. He was did anybody die? Uh, nah. No. But then, did you but, die? No, I just mean like if somebody died, I could see it being like manslaughter or something. But oh, yeah. since they didn't, then yeah, yeah it's probably just fines. Oh maybe no! They'll, they'll, maybe take, they'll his take his license. His license. Yeah, oh, no, for he, sure. He's he in, done. He, he in jail, dog. Yeah, he's in jail yeah, right now. He's in yeah, jail. Yeah, he he uh, actually turned himself in. I like bet that. he bailed out almost immediately, though. He's not just sitting in jail. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He he he's at least at, at the the least of my knowledge, he is still currently in jail. Hmm. So, like that guy on the fucking golf course. 
Um, okay. But anyways, right. uh, there's Time to that. Move on from the golf course. No, I can't get over it. It's just just eating at me. Maybe we want to smoke with me real quick. Please. Uh, uh, yeah, I could do that. Let's do it. All right. On the break. On that the break. would be fun to take a break. Or like, it's not even a break. It's just a cut from <laughs> yeah. Scotty just being hur, hur, to being like, <laughs> oh just, man, I've this never this actually this changes everything. You're just looking up at the ceiling I've at the lights. I've never been this mad before. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on, we got uh, Tom Brady says in an interview that he is not opposed to coming back and playing in in the NFL for a couple of teams like Las Vegas, San Francisco, uh, New England. Uh, yeah. That surprises in a particular me that he would go scenario. back to New England. Yeah, the scenario is Bill Belichick fucking out. Yeah, he gone. Yeah. He gone. So it's like, uh, well, you know, but the fact that he doesn't say that it's like a, a done deal, yeah. it really yeah. scares the shit out of me. Because he'll win another fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, let's hope he goes to Denver. It doesn't say Denver on this list. It doesn't say Denver on that list. <laughs> but I bet if Denver we couldn't afford him. And we couldn't like, afford it. And was Don't like, worry. hey, man, we got 30 mil for a year. <sighs> you in? No. He'd be like, all right. Nah, He's going to nah. have to make way more than that. You 100%. He's yeah. going to have to make He's a gonna decent. He's going to have to be the highest paid player. Uh-huh. Or close to it, at yeah, least. Yeah, he, he doesn't have to win Super Bowls no, anymore. He, they, they have to pay him yeah, at, right. for what he's worth. And he's worth a lot. And uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. Uh, but the Masters started Thursday. And at least it's Sunday right now, so I don't really know who won. And maybe they have some guys out there, like, uh, directing traffic or yeah. saying, huh. don't drive over native fucking grass. <laughs> they probably have it roped off. Uh, probably. Fuckers. Or they just, people just know. Right. They're like, not disgraceful. Right. <laughs> like people just see it and they're like, oh, that's native. That's native we shouldn't grass. drive, we shouldn't drive that. on that. Everybody knows well, that. Know, I mean, fuck seems you. normal. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, JP. Did you see that the UFC thing last night? I did. I watched the, like, the same way I watch every sport. It's like, oh, the whole thing's three hours long. I'll watch the five-minute recap sure. on something else. But there were some good, good fights. There was a lot of good fights. Whenever you make the bonus go from $50,000 to $300,000, you're going you're gonna to get some good fights. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, I'd, yeah. I'd so, have fought for that. So naturally, you're going to get some good fights. That's yeah. what happens. Those and, dudes, uh, I don't know either of their names, but they were just punch for punch at the end, like just oh, yeah. standing up swinging at each 100%. other. 100%. And that's what you need. Yeah. You need that. That's UFC, baby. That would be a cool rule to have of like, <sighs> if you win the fight, like through decision or whatever, like you win whatever prize. But if you guys aren't even listening no, you're I'm talking listening. about we're something listening else. to you no we're not you're both just looking at each other making signals and shit <laughs> i want that fucking guy in the ring <laughs> is that what you were thinking i want that guy in the ring we're trying to do so we're trying to do extra content like native yeah. grass like, you dude. fucking asshole and in this corner <laughs> mr native grass <laughs> he's you just covered in the grass, in grass. <laughs> I and was Scotty, so pissed. Scotty's wearing grass too, but out of disrespect. Right. Yeah. They both have the same outfit on. Oh, dude, I did. I was such a dick. Like, I, there was like a sign uh, that says "Stay on cart path, uh, the entire hole," and I was like weaving around that sign because I was such a dick. <laughs> I was so pissed. I've never been this mad before. Uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, UFC 100, uh, 300 was amazing. It was good. It was a good uh, yeah, yeah. thing. <gasps> Sorry. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, here's the, the the coupe de gras of this last week that <laughs> since we've done the, the show, um, OJ Simpson can now rest easy because the killer of his wife is now dead. Yay, Brad Williams. Yay, yeah. Brad Williams. Boy, he wanted to make damn sure he got credit for that sure shit. I did. Love he that. Sure did. He sure did. And you know what? He deserves the credit for that uh, shit. Uh, well, I was watching that whole rant about how I was the first one to do this and blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I would say halfway through it, I thought he was a normal-sized dude. <laughs> like, he was. <laughs> he, like, he was. It seemed like he was growing the whole way. Yeah, what, did what, he's, what I don't understand. That's so, his joke, but everybody it, retweeted everybody it. Everybody retweeted uh, it and the did the whole thing and didn't give him credit. So and, he and, went on. He had a show that night, and he went on and was basically like, that's my fucking joke. Look at the time stamp. Yeah. Everybody retweeted it, but didn't give me credit and just went on a rant for about three minutes. Dude, it was awesome. It was pretty good. Would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Um, cheese. <laughs> cheese all day it's long. It's that joke. Yeah. It's that fucking same thing. But 
the whole thing is is that everybody's losing their shit because it's oj simpson yeah, right well but we have like one half that's like oh he, he didn't do it the he fuck, what do you mean by book. what do you mean by one half? He yeah. wrote a book what's, what's saying if he mean? did it. You mean thirteen percent? Yeah, probably. Black people? Pl- Is that probably. what you're saying? Because <laughs> oh, it seems like that's what you're saying. Oh shit! It seems like that's what you're saying. I don't think bro. so. No, I don't. Th- no, because they even know. They even know. My best they, friend knows. They even know. My best friend knows. <laughs> I mean, I've the best argument I've heard is like, yeah, he probably did it, but they... They can't prove it. No, they just... They did so many things wrong during the investigation. It's not that they can't prove it and that they don't know yeah. for a fact. They just... A lot of evidence wasn't admissible because they fucked with it. Yeah. I was pretty convinced when he wrote the book. <laughs> yeah, when he wrote the like, book... Like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, but, but if, I, if did, I did do it, this is how I would have done it. My favorite thing of that is uh, when Norm Macdonald was on doing the news yes. on SNL, and, yes. he, and he talked about Johnny Cochran taking uh, like the ski mask and trying to put it on, and then OJ <laughs> goes, whoa, whoa, be careful with that. Or Norm says, be careful with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was gone. Jesus uh, Christ. Years later, he had an interview with Conan O'Brien about that exact thing, and was it worth getting let go from the show for that joke? And he goes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> of I, course. If I had it to do all over again, I would have done it the exactly the same way. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's my lucky step. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so Man, good. Man, rest in peace. That guy was amazing. No, rest in hell, you piece of shit. Fuck you. I'm talking about Norm, not oh, fucking Oh, Norm, 100% rest in peace. But OJ, you can fuck yourself. I hope you... I, I hope... The flames of hell burn blisters in your hands and feet so ridiculously painful that, uh, yeah, you know, torture kind of wow. thing. Yeah. Boy, Scotty is on one today. <laughs> I have I like not it. been this upset yeah, in a really long time. You're not. You're not really <laughs> mad at OJ. You're mad at you're the mad golf at, guy. You're I'm mad, mad at, at that fucking native golf grass. Guy. We got to call him native grass. grass native we don't grass know his guy. Name. OJ legally did, <laughs> did nothing wrong. Legally, let's see. Let's come up with a name that has some a, people that has both initials and N and a G. Let's come up with a name for the guy. <laughs> native grass is fine. Oh, okay. I will go with native grass. All right. Norman Giffalt. <laughs> I think that's his name. Nor- Fuck gonna- you. Norman. Fuck you, Norman. I'm so fucking pissed at you, Norman. Uh, but anyways, that is headlines. Uh, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Thank God. So we can have some comedy. You know, release. This has all been. This has all been pretty. I was gonna say this has all been pretty good so far. I'm mad at a guy who was mean to me. I might. I might pay somebody to piss you off before every episode. Holy shit! I have not been this. I'm gonna find old native grass. I'm gonna be like, hey man, what are you doing next Tuesday? You want to come over for a podcast? Come on, native grass. Oh, I will kill. We want to hear your side of the story. I will beat the shit out of that old man. He's an hour away. Drive up there with me and see if we can find him. Let's go find him. We'll know him if we see him. him. Yeah. For what it's worth, we'll know him. For what it's worth, I know right where the guy likes uh, to hang out. So. You can't go. Uh, you anyways. might kill yeah, him. Yeah, if he sees you, he's going to be like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I'm not doing your, it. Your picture's up like where you get your bucket of balls or however the fucking <laughs> yeah. place works. Yeah. Like, no more of this kid. Yeah. I've never been so pissed off. Anyways, now let's move on to Never Have I Ever. This, uh, Hey, guys, thank you very much for uh, Monday. Was it Friday? Yeah. It's supposed to be. It was supposed to be. And it is. And it was. Wow. I did it. It's one for one. I fucking did it. We did it. All right. Well, thank you very much for participating in Monday, Friday. Now let's kick this off with Never Have I Ever. The first one comes in from Braxton Lint. By the way, Braxton Lint is on the same level as Taylor Morosky. Yeah, he he call he's got a lot of stuff. He's on got the a show. lot yeah. of good shit. He's yep. got a lot of good shit. I, I'm not going to give him the Taylor, the Taylor but you know, he's level. There. He's getting there. If he sends me a nude selfie, that might help. Uh, don't do that, by the way. I'm just saying. Please don't, I mean. Braxton. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> the first one comes in from Braxton Lent. He wants to know, never have I ever went down on a random YouTube rabbit hole. You and don't, what you don't was go it? down on the rabbit hole. You just go down <laughs> the rabbit hole. rabbit hole. Speak for yourself. I'm not blowing <laughs> the rabbit hole. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I no. watched. Oh, go ahead. No, what I was going to ask was like, normally the YouTube rabbit holes are always going to be political. Is that not true? No, no. no? Okay. Yeah, right. there's well, a. Lo- I I that learned. Was mine. <laughs> I learned all about the sense of smell the other day because I 
That's I, weed, man. That, I, that's it weed. probably is, but that's I, fucking weed. Like I, I don't know about that. What I, <laughs> what I do in my life not is give weed a bad name. Is I will learn about something and then I will assume everything that I can about it, okay. and then I'll look it up to see how much of that was true. Uh-huh. But before I look it up, I'll, I'll tell dozens of people this not proven information that my logic tells me is true but it's always exciting to me when it turns out to be right and so my assumption was that anytime you smell something it's because literal molecules of that thing are floating in the sky and they get into your nose and into your 400 olfactory sensors i learned that there were 400 of them and you can fuck up a lot of them and still be able to smell hole I really did. And every video <laughs> led to another one and there were animations and all sorts of shit. But yeah. it's just interesting to think about like if I, I and now I all I imagine are emojis in my head. Yeah. So if I walk in somewhere and I smell cheeseburgers, I just imagine the millions of tiny microscopic little cheeseburger emojis <laughs> just floating around. And so the same can be done if you smell farts and shit. It's just little shit emojis literally going into <laughs> your head. Anyway, all I, all I was thinking was I figured out who I was following on TikTok and it was sketch. <laughs> What's up, brother? What did you call him before? I don't even remember. Like scrimp or something. Skeezer. Uh, I don't, I don't remember. No, but sketch is actually very, very funny. Um, Apparently he <laughs> yeah, made a lasting impression. on you. He's fucking funny. But no, uh, as far as a, as a, as a rabbit hole. Yes. Uh, I went, I definitely went down one. I, uh, and the reason why I say it's always political is because I, was raised a certain way and i went down a rabbit hole uh that took me out of that yeah 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 so i am definitely not what my parents raised me to be and they thank god hate the thank god fuck out of that. so it's not your parents to blame no it's youtube okay no yeah, it's totally youtube yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's definitely it's definitely a good thing if you if you get down a rabbit hole political or not it's really good for you you know what I'm saying? I only done it once. Okay. What do you and got? And I went down. I was I was watching YouTube, and you know how it has recommended stuff and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, you, yeah, Stuff yeah, you yeah, might yeah. like and whatever. And there was this episode on there about native grass and how you shouldn't <laughs> drive over it and, and the reasons why. And man, I mean, hours, hours it took me. Fuck you. It only took me like 30 <laughs> seconds of hearing a story. <laughs> Fuck you. To be like, oh, well, clearly the man is in the right here. Could you <laughs> identify right. native grass? Oh, absolutely, Could you? man. Oh, couldn't. Oh, Come God on. Damn. Well, I mean, if the, you're going to... I gonna, could identify the fuck out of it. It was deader than shit, and I drove over it, and some yeah. guy got pissed. It just looks dead. It wasn't real. Oh, dead. you fucking asshole. Anyways, next one it comes in. <laughs> next one comes in from Chase Golden. Uh, he wants to know: Never have I ever fantasized about a friend's mom. Yeah, no, I have not. <laughs> of course, you haven't. Have you fantasized about a friend's, friend's dad? uncle? Uncle, yes, dad. I don't know. I can't think of one what? offhand. Come on. No, I. Not a friend's dad. I can't think of one really. Really? I would figure that you know you would probably you know go that route. I remember when I played football in high school, there was a kid that was a couple of years younger than us, and his mom would always drop him off for football practice in like a Camaro or whatever. Oh, yeah. Wearing like a tube top type shirt, just huge tits, and everybody razzed that guy about yeah. like, oh, man, I'd love to fuck your mom. But I, I didn't do it because I had to deal with that. I have two older sisters, and yeah. my entire friend group was just like, God, I want to fucking come on your sister's tits. <laughs> and I would just be like, all right, guys. Settle down. How much are we paying? Let's <laughs> just ride bikes. I fucked a mom once. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I, I did. I had the opportunity a few times. and I take that back. One I've, time. I fucked a person that was getting ready to be a mom. So you fucked a pregnant chick? Yeah, I beat the shit out of that kid's head, though. Wow. Like, bam! Yeah. Mm. But anyway. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, yeah that's was, a uh, poor kid. Well, I got out of that relationship pretty quick. Yeah. She was hot, though. Um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely have. Pre- I, yeah. I, I, pregnant I definitely, hot? Oh, God, she was pregnant hot. Do you look 100%. up pregnant porn because of no. that experience? No. No. Pregnant chicks don't turn me on. 
Like, I know, like, a lot of other dudes, like, that's, like, a thing for them. They want to touch the belly and shit like that. I do, I'd i never I've, had I've that. I've never heard that. I mean, There's I only one reason I've ever wanted to fuck a pregnant chick. Why? Because you can't get a pregnant? Because I want to know what it feels like to get a hand job from a fetus. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or, or you can just beat the shit out of its head. Either way. <laughs> one way or the Either other. Either way. Uh, but yes, I definitely have. Uh, I don't think that's how any of that works. That's but. probably not. Uh, next one comes in from Region Alexander. He wants to know: Never have I ever thrown a chair off of a balcony of a bar. Hmm. No, I haven't. But Morgan Wallen sure as shit did. Yeah, he did. He sure did. Yeah, and did. I'm pretty sure he he. I think it gained. I it. think it gained him fans. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. everything was, I've read has been real positive. It yeah. wasn't in like a fit of rage or anything. He was just drunk and trying to like throw it into the pool or yeah, something, wasn't he? Exactly. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> he I mean, I don't know. Maybe uh, he was trying to throw it on some native fucking grass. Well, that would <laughs> piss me off. Yeah, no, that's a different sure. story. Uh, if you know what, and if he was. I'd be his best yeah, friend. I'd like to know if that's the case. Uh, but no, but like this dude's coming out with a fucking banger. Have you guys heard the the song with him and uh, oh shit, tattooed face? Do I look like a fucking Post Malone? Post Malone? They, no, I haven't. Oh, heard. They they did oh. they did a collab and it was it's fucking fire. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that thing to, to come out. Anyways, uh, the next two come in from Wayne Fargnoli. Have we ever done back-to-backs? Uh, I don't remember. I mean, it. JP, you may <clears throat> I mean, definitely have. but On I, the show. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. This I may be a so. first. This is a first. Wayne Wayne Fargnoli. He Congratulations, was, Wayne. Yeah, Sounds yeah. like a made-up name. Yeah, it I don't pro- buy it. It probably I'm going to look this up. Uh, but he wants to know, never have I ever used the woman's bathroom when the line for oh. the men's was too long. 100%, 100% yes. I go in there when there's no line. 100%. <laughs> it's nicer. Yeah, it's they way got a, nicer. They got a bench. <clears throat> they got like a couch. You want to fucking there. die? Go into a gay bar and go in the women's restroom. Those <laughs> lesbians will fucking tear you limb from a limb. Really? Oh, they do not like that. Oh, man. so that's going to be on yeah. my list of things to do. Because yeah. I went in there and drag once and fucking. They like, don't like that the, shit. You're like, I'm one of you, ladies. Like the DJ came up to me and was like fucking lighting me up telling me how i couldn't go in there i said i just fucking did <laughs> you know what are you gonna fucking do about it i bet now it's different though i bet because all you have to say is i identify as, as a woman yeah right. and they're like oh my god i'm oh, so I'm sorry i'm so sorry i thought yeah, you were go just ahead. an asshole in a dress i didn't know that you were officially one of us go ahead yeah. and use your dick in the urinal that's the other thing <laughs> when are we going to get to the point where women's bathrooms have urinals, have urinals? <laughs> never i hope <laughs> oh i don't god. think that's good so fucking ridiculous. And litter boxes. That's the other thing. Yeah. No, I, I went to a gas station once, and it was one of those <laughs> where uh, they were, like, cleaning the men's bathroom. So they had the sign up, like, you can't go in. So I just went into the women's bathroom. It was empty when I went in there. And I'm sitting in the stall, and I'm, I'm shitting. And no, nobody knocked. It was, like, multiple <laughs> stalls in there. But just over and over again, I would hear like women come in. I so uh, a woman there. and her daughter like came in, and I heard her be like, "No, do she this," like, you know, like helping her. So uh, yeah, shoes. and I'm just like yeah. sitting there, like God, please don't look through, <laughs> don't look through the the crack in the door. The, There's a little girl just peeks her head under. Her right. Her There's a like, man ah, in there. Ah, ah, no. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, like nothing staring happened. At, but. Staring at your hairy ankles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have hairy ankles because I've been wearing tight socks for too long. Well, good for you. I wear long socks and I pull them tight. (laughs) Okay. Next, or the last one is again from Wayne Fargnoli. He wants to know, never have I ever said something was... Uh, oh, said something was broken at work to avoid having to do something. Yeah. Well, if you've ever worked at McDonald's, you have. <laughs> 100% the ice cream machine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, that's on my comedy special, that line where I say... Uh, <sighs> Like, we would have days where we would just be like, drinks only, nothing <laughs> works. Yeah, we, uh, I didn't do it, but my immediate, so I was a first assistant, and then my immediate manager um, used to unplug the lottery machine. Sure. The lottery oh, yeah, high yeah. And just tell people it was broken when we, I was, when I was at the store in Park City, <sighs> and they were, oh man, they and didn't why, like that. What was his benefit of doing that? 
just not, not having, having to, to d- fucking deal with a bunch of fucking lottery <laughs> people, dude. Oh, they're the worst. I went through. The worst. I stopped at a gas station on my way home from Arizona, and there was a guy in there, and and he went through every lottery. He was like, "Give me a, a Powerball with the the quick pick and the extra bonus hole and whatever." And <laughs> extra bonus I hole. And the fucking mega millions. He went through all of them, and the lady was like, "All right," uh, and just very slow. He picked numbers on some of them. Others were. Anyway, after five or ten minutes of this, the lady was like, it's uh, $57 cash only. And the guy goes, oh, cash oh, only? Cash. And he left. <laughs> and the lady was just like, Jesus Christ, I just did all of that and shit. I, now I don't think you can cancel them. You used to be able to cancel them, but now I don't think you can. I don't know. I don't know, but that's, yeah. I had a lady like that when I worked at uh, Mount Vernon and Broadway. <laughs> Mount Vernon and Broadway. Yeah, her that, name was Vicky. That tells you. And enough. whenever you seen Vicky coming, whoever said not at last had to wait on Vicky. And she oh. would come up and she would like tell you what numbers she wanted. And you would have to literally program in like each number. Uh, she oh, would go and shit. then she would spend like, dude, $1,000. Your total was like $1,100. And she's like, hmm. She's like, I must have miscalculated. I only have like nine hundred and eighty dollars, oh, and so then she would shit. like go back through the ones oh. that she didn't want, like tell you the numbers, and I'm like, how am I fucking gonna find oh, that? Oh god! You know? Oh, it was the worst. The so, worst. so I think I can finally tell this, uh, and you guys will know one hundred percent. But my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife, uh, she works currently at the Town West Mall. Oh wow. <laughs> is she, so you is guys she, I hope she's know. not in charge of electricity but the because <laughs> the owner of the town west malls apparently owns like 20 other malls yeah and he does the same shit oh yeah everywhere so basically in wichita we have a town east and town west the guy that owns a town west mall does not pay the fucking electrical bill at all and so the power gets shut off from time to time and my oh, wow. wife gets days off Oh wow! Eh, that's how it works. Um, Is she salary? Uh, kind of. Oh, well, that's good at least. Kind of. Um, it, it's <clears throat> super, super fucked up. But yeah. whenever, whenever we know this is going to happen, we know what the the power bill is due at this particular oh, yeah, point right. in time. So we know that the power is getting get, going to get shut off, yeah. and um, it's really fucked up. Like there are people that have like product and stuff that needs to be refrigerated or something along those lines, and this asshole doesn't give a shit, and it's in the fucking lease contract. That says, I am not responsible for loss of product oh, or of funds if something happens. And so they can't even sue the motherfucker. So fuck that guy. Fuck well, that guy, too. That's wow. that's probably the native grass piece of shit. It's the same guy. Probably. But um, but yeah, my wife does like to say that, you know, I can't do anything because we don't have any power on. But anyways, that's where uh, never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is that's. Where I draw the line. I pushed so many Rick, buttons. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons going on there. <laughs> I pushed so many buttons. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but the first one comes in from Dawson Glover. He wants to know, where do you draw the line on noises that need repair on your car? Speaking of which, <laughs> my car's been doing this thing, man. Yeah, no, I heard it. You heard it? Mm-hmm. Well, you know what it is? No. Nope. Uh, it's like a... What's it doing? Ooh, Tell us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah what, what's it doing? It's like a little rattly sound when I drive. Uh huh. You want to fix it? I mean, yeah, I do want to fix it. What if you have to pay for it? Then I do not want to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna have try. Then I'm gonna be driving a car with a little rattly sound. You sure are, because I think it's the exhaust actually. Uh, well, yeah, yeah fine. that's fine. Yeah, I, cares? for me, it's not the sound that bothers me. It's like it, I want a professional to be like, "This it's is okay. this is gonna stay the way that it is. It's not damaging anything right. else." That's why my check engine light's still on after two years because yeah. it's and like I could help you fix that. I have the part. I just need somebody with the tools to you, fucking put it on. What's the part? It's like an O2 thing or Sensor. something. Oh, dude. Yeah. I, I, but you got to take off a bunch of shit. And I there's, could do it. D- 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 go do it. Me and JP will finish this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Have my check engine light off by the, the parts time. Of the glove I'm, box. Oh, yeah. No, no shit. But, but speaking of sounds, the thing that fucking bothers me is when someone's in my passenger seat and they don't put their seat belt on. Oh, And then shit. my car will ding eight times in a row about every minute. Yeah. And it's I don't mind it once. 
and I don't mind that if they go, oh, is that me? Sorry. Yeah. But when they 100%. just fucking sit there, and I'm like, you know, that's dinging for you. And they're like, I don't mind it. And oh, I'm like, I didn't fucking say that because I thought you minded. I'm telling you because I mind. Put your fucking seatbelt on. He's 100% correct on that, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking I hate that. that shit. Uh, no, like for me, I mean, like I'm in the industry, man. So I, I kind of know... <laughs> I kind of know when noises are bad and noises are good. Man. So, yeah. That, that reminds me of the Brian Regan joke where he's like uh, going into a mechanic and, and like he doesn't know enough about cars. So, all he can do is make the noise that the car is yeah. making. Can, Those are, you know, it's going, it's going, by far. My favorite thing in the entire world is when an old lady comes in with a vehicle and describes a noise to me and I go, what does it sound like? <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> like, 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 like it's my favorite fucking thing in the world. Uh, but yes, and the Brian uh, Regan joke ends with him being like, can you fix that? <laughs> After a, bunch, a long slew of noises. And then the guy goes, I don't know. I just clean up here. You got to talk to Harry. Harry. <laughs> All right, next one comes in from Chase Golden. He wants to know how many people is too few to perform <laughs> in uh, I'm sorry. How many people is too few to perform in front before it's uncomfortable? Uh, what? Apparently, yeah. Eight. Mike. <laughs> I, I think eight, was, eight, eight, eight eight sucks. It really just depends on the size of the room though because So, can I ask a question? Sure. Yes. Like how ma how many people will it take? Is this another question? I'm trying to look up Nope. Okay. My question is like, is there ever an amount of people that you perform in front of where you get uncomfortable? No, no it's, the more, the better. It's see, that's kind of the versa. thing. Like the when it, least amount, the, the least the amount is when it's fucked up. It's yeah. I, agree. I, 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 I mean, agree. I don't even completely agree with that because it's, it's not the number of people. It's like how good they are at being attentive and laughing eight at people, things and stuff. Eight fucking so, people. But with eight people, if you can make eight people laugh, it feels really good. That's true. Because you're okay. like, fuck, uh, man. I, I see. I got a full on laugh from you guys. And like, I've, I've learned with, with experience or whatever to talk about what's so going on in the room, you know? So if there's eight people in there, I spend five minutes being like, "I this is you think this is weird for you guys? This is fucking weird for me. Like this is not what I do." And then they'll I'll tell a joke, and they, when you've got a crowd of three hundred and you say a funny joke, people will the laughs last thirty seconds. You yeah. know, when you've got a crowd of eight and you tell a funny joke, it's one guy going. Ha! <laughs> But you still have to stick with the timing sure, and sure, stuff. Sure. That, yeah. So no, numbered has nothing to do with it. I've I've literally done a show for two people in a living room before and had a good time. Like it Man, was fucking poor weird. Poor people? Is that what you said? No, for two people. Well, he said poor people. Oh no, they had enough money to hire a guy to come do comedy. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you're understanding why I said poor. Oh, like you poor people. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant like right. you broke ass no, motherfuckers. No. <laughs> Obviously, if they had you performing for two of them, they're rich. They were supposed to. They were supposed to have some kind of party or something, and it out. got canceled last minute. And they, they were, were like, like, "Well, you're the here. The fuck yeah. if we're paying the comedian back? Uh -huh. We're getting our fucking money's worth, dude. That's that would be so. Fun. It was very weird. That would be. Fun. I talked into a broomstick. <laughs> Jeez. I was like, I need something Why? to hold to pretend it's a microphone. Oh, uh, that sucks. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Next one comes in from Connor Pusser. He oh, has the, that he has is the, Connor with a K, Pusser, Pusser with, with a P. P. That's right. Uh, well, great for having a killer fucking name. Yeah. Uh, he wants to know how much money is too much money to spend on a hooker. That's a good fucking question. I would think any amount. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my god! If I was rich, I would have a hooker every day. Hundred percent. If you were rich, you day. wouldn't need hookers. That's not true. I I disagree. This is a bad question. I'm not and rich, and I already don't need hookers. No, but here's the point. Here, here's look. Here's the thing, man. <laughs> but he's gonna go. Look, here's the thing, man. Um, even if I don't need them. I don't want to get attached to nobody. If I'm if I'm that wealthy where I can afford a hooker every day if I want one, yeah. The reason I'm getting the hooker is so that bitch will just suck my dick and leave. But you're gonna get attached because you're gonna no. be like, God, you suck my dick better than uh, because all we're the such other hookers. good guys, JP. We're so good because I fucking we're hate people. That's why. <laughs> because I'm convinced that there's no such thing as fucking here's, love. Here's the, I, here's the thing. Like 
here's yeah, the, here's just give me a hooker. Here's I'm the in. thing. If you're going to spend $100 on a hooker. Oh, that's well then you're going to get something. You're going to get $100 and get a lot more than what you bargained for. Worth of yeah, 100%. AIDS and herpes. <laughs> you're and getting fucking, an STD. Yeah. yeah. If you spend $1000 on a hooker, that's going to be a good fucking time. Eh. I'm just saying I don't know. I wouldn't I've never I would not done it I wouldn't do less than five a $5000 hooker. What? Whoa! That's dude. the least I would pay a hooker. I would pay a five thousand dollar hooker. I, would, I'm, I want class. I, I, I'm paying shit. for it. I want class. Dude. I'm like, I have seventeen dollars. What will you do? Why Holy do you think I've never fuck. fucking got a hooker? I guess. But like, still, I mean, like, my any- car's rattling, and I'm not fixing that. <laughs> I'm sure not paying five grand for a hooker. If anybody needs a hooker. It's JP. And those colorblind glasses. I think we're going to do a go. Then I can see the hooker. Exactly. You can see what color she is. (laughs) I'm I'm content with free. Good one. I want free hookers, which are basically girls that I match with on Facebook dating. (laughs) And I'm like, you want to just come over and watch TV? 100%. Where you're also going to get something. (laughs) Hey. No respectable girl gives it up for free. Oh, shit, that's good. No, actually, like one of my favorite things is <laughs> sleeping with girls. Or and l- Let me rephrase that. One of my favorite things is hooking up with girls sure. whose profile says no hookups. Oh, yeah. And I, yeah. as I'm fucking Those her. Those are the first ones. I'm just like, you yeah. fucking, you're so full of shit, <laughs> you lying bitch. You pull it down her panties, she's already pre-gaped. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't like that word. Oh, that, I don't like it either. I don't that's, care. That, that's bad. Um, I'm just saying. Anyways. I, I won't click on a <laughs> thumbnail that has the word gape in the description. <laughs> I'm like, no, just leave it closed. It'll gape itself when my wiener gets in there. Oh, God, that's so good. I don't like any kind of abuse. Just makes me uncomfortable, you know? I'm the, having so much fun on this episode. This the week. fucking fish hook thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I see it all the time, and I'm like, dude, that poor girl. And maybe one out of ten are like, fuck yeah, fish hook me. And the other ones are just like, I need this $1,000. Yeah. I need this money to pay my rent. Oh, that's so fucking funny. All right. All right. We got to move on. All right. Next one comes in from Jeremiah. Thank you, Kevin. Or yeah, Connor Pusser. Thank you, Connor Pusser. Thank you, Connor Pusser. That's a great question. Uh, next one comes Kevin. in from Jeremiah Clausen. He wants to know, what is the maximum amount of time you will follow a logging truck before flying around it? Oh, as soon as possible. And, dude, I'm not even fucking kidding. Yeah, no. That's whole. <laughs> Every that, yeah, single no. one of us has seen Final Destination Oh, for sure. Every fucking time. Yeah, I ain't no, going to be that I'm, guy. Nope, I'm out. I'm I, fucking out. I don't let it bother me at all. I'll pass them on the right serious? if I have to. I don't oh, 100%. A fuck, You're serious? You don't even care? I mean, any truck, if the whole fucking back falls off of it, it's oh, going to no, kill you. You no. might as well panic no. at all of them. No, the, the logging truck scene in Final Destination fucked me up. That's a Brian Regan joke too where he's like, I'll, uh, you'll see a log truck going this way on the highway and then you see another one going this way. And I just think, if they need logs over there <laughs> and they, you'd think a phone call to save a whole lot of time. <laughs> Wait, you had logs? <laughs> I, I I'm dead serious. If I'm fi- if I'm behind a logging truck, I am immediately getting over in the other end. Have you ever seen the the guy that drives around in his pickup and picks up wooden pallets? No, dude, they'll be stacked like dude too high. Oh no, the oh, truck, and they're like shaking the as truck, the truck is like got the Detroit lean, but only because the pallets are back there. <laughs> why we and they're just Detroit? like swaying. They're why, just why swaying. do you gotta call it Detroit? It's the Detroit lean. Oh, baby. Okay, all right, all right. You know. But you yeah. and me are on the same page. We're we're getting the yeah, fuck out. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out. That I'll follow it because I'm not a pussy. Yeah. Well, you're also going to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, because I'm good enough at uh, my reflexes are good that I'll fucking dodge each yeah, individual right, log. Right. Right. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Me and, and I'll see one coming right towards me, and I'll know that I don't need. Me and to, JP will be alive. I don't need to go either direction because <laughs> it's going to bounce and go right over my car. Perfectly. We'll be so far past we won't even know he we died. We won't even know he died. Yeah. Uh, next one comes in from John Flanagan. He wants to know, what is the maximum number of days you will still eat leftovers after putting them in the fridge? Depends on what it is. I, I don't. I can't do it. I, can't. I don't. I, I don't. I don't eat leftovers, man. <clears throat> Tomato based sauces get better in the fridge. Spaghetti sauce, chili, that kind of stuff. It tastes better after a few days in the fridge and then heating it back up again because everything absorbs. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like beef stew, that kind of stuff. What? 
what the fuck is wrong with you? I they don't get, disagree. They get worse. Um, I mean, it's taste. It's, it's uh, you know, There's no, no right or wrong. It's no. just... I can't. I, I tell you what. I can't eat. Pizza is also better after it's been right. Oh, See, tomato no. based. Stuff. I like no. pizza after it's been warmed. I don't up. like no. cold pizza. But I don't I, either. But I like to. I like day. I like pizza. Day old warm warm pizza. I don't uh-huh. even warm it till it's like all the way hot. You guys are <laughs> fucking psychos. You guys are fucking psychos. No, I mean like if just I make to where the cheese just. If I make chili today, it tastes good. But then when I put it in the fridge overnight and then put it back on the stove tomorrow, it tastes that much better. My mom used to make chili and spaghetti ahead of time. And then we would wait a day or two before we ate it because of that. Yeah, that's true. It is true. You guys, God's honest truth. I actually fucking psych. I made chili on Sunday and then I went out of town for the weekend. And so I'm looking forward to putting it. (laughs) The answer to the question for me is five or six days. I would say Jesus Christ. I mean, that's how I grew up, you know, like my, my mom would be like, I ain't cooking. There's <laughs> leftovers still in there. Finish yeah. them leftovers off. You we guys, all talked. You guys are fucking crazy. No, right. I don't. I, I don't do it anymore. But no. boy, I do. No. Only I, because I go only get enough food to eat for that fucking no. meal. I, I just go out every meal. I'm so. fucking out. I you don't ever you guys are fucking crazy. I, I can't. I mean, I don't like doing leftovers at all, but it has to be the next day. If yeah. I'm gonna eat leftovers, yeah, yeah, like like spaghetti, I cannot do, and spaghetti is my favorite fucking food, but I can't fucking do it because it tastes. You don't disgusting. know what you're missing. Do you order spaghetti at restaurants? No, no, I only make my own. I was gonna say that sauce has been fucking sitting in the fridge for <laughs> oh, a week or so. <clears throat> oh yeah, no, I can't. Do, I can't do spaghetti at other restaurants because it's not as good as the one that I can make at home. But that's just me. Do you make it from scratch or do you just buy like a jar of ragu or whatever? It's a jar. Yeah, yeah, dude, you're the worst. You're like, I make my own yeah. the spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, it's an ugly. <laughs> I just need to go to Aldi's and yeah. get the ingredients. And- it's the meat sauce from, ah, oh, what the fuck is it? Uh, not ragu. It's not ragu. Is it a jar is it or is it a can? No, it's a, it, no, it's a jar. Okay. It's a, it's well, a, it's a jar. It's Bertoli. Whoa, I didn't know. I, I can't think of it. It's Bertoli. F- no, it's not Bertoli. Is it a square jar? No. Uh, no, it's it's a round jar, and it, and it has like the highest sugar content oh, out of all sure, of the Oh, sure, yeah, good. I, One it, of my favorite. It's, fucking, it's like it's, it's called like Skameckis or something like that. They only sell it at Walmart, not at Dylan's, which is our grocery store. Yeah. Here. Sure, yeah, uh, but it's good. Okay, but whatever. Right. I don't eat a lot of spaghetti stuff now that I'm doing low carb. Yeah, oh, good for you. Mm. So am I. I can't do it either. Uh, but that is that's where I draw the line. Now we get to move on to uh, my favorite part. Well, not really my favorite part, but Jeremy Joseph's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Oh man, there he is again. There Braxton he is again. Lent. Braxton Lent gets to kick this bad bitch off. Uh, he wants to know what's the biggest lie you've ever told just so you could get laid. I don't think I've ever lied. I'm so famous. Oh, you've told somebody that before? I'm famous. No shit? Uh-huh. My, they believed I, you? I, I told my wife. <laughs> for what? <laughs> so I can get laid. No, but I mean, what did you say you were famous for? This show. No. What? Yeah. You weren't even what doing show? this show when you met your wife. Oh, when I met my wife? Right. That, that doesn't fucking matter. I need to get laid still. So, you, But you have to convince her? You still yes. have to convince her to let me. 100% you. I still have to convince No, not really. She's she's pretty much in the mood all the time. The, ooh, the, that reminds me. This is one of my favorite porn things. It's called. <laughs> it's called. Tell me if you've heard this term. Free use. Have you heard of that? No, no but I like it. This I is like what it. I was. I've talked about this a few months ago when I was here, but I didn't know what the name of it was. But it's basically the girl just not paying attention to the guy. And the guy just fucking the girl yeah. and her like, not if you're into do it, it. Just do it at all. She's like talking on the phone. She's doing her taxes, playing video games and shit. <laughs> and the dude's just, that's what I want. I we want a girl people, that's like, yeah, we, fuck me. We if gay you want. people just call that sex. <laughs> 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 It'd be weird if that's not how it went. <laughs> So, Jesus but Christ, I, I don't think so I've good. ever lied. I did have a girl one time we were making out in my car and in the middle, she stopped making out. She backed up and she goes, what's my name? You oh. And I just went, oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, nope, that's not it. <laughs> so, yeah, that ruined it. But no, I've never. Have, have you really not lied? I have lied about the number of people I've previously been with. Okay, that's a lie. But that's That's it. a lie. But yeah. that's the only thing. Yeah, I definitely have lied. Yeah, I've yeah. definitely I done definitely that. Lie. But I, uh, that's it. 
So a long, long, long time ago before I met my wife, I, I, uh, was pretty good at doing an Irish accent, and uh, no way. You yeah. told somebody you're from Ireland, dude. That's so funny. Yeah, I've got to go back tomorrow, but I want to fuck you tonight. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So did it work? <laughs> oh, one hundred. Oh, I feel absolutely. like I I'm feel a like fucking leprechaun. Are you fucking serious? I feel absolutely like you could have fucked that girl with any Either accent. way. Yeah. Right, and you're like, I want to throw you around like oh, a sack no. of potatoes. You're like it was the Irish accent that did it, and I was like, oh, Are you sure that it wasn't? I was from the- Galway. I was from Galway, and but- I. uh I did a little bit of a number on her. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I sure did. Oh, good for you, yeah, man. That's funny. Uh, next one comes in from <laughs> Jacob Dubravacak. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do rub the cock, I think, is how they you pronounce You know what? That. That's what your name's going to be from now on. Uh, dude, rub the cock. Uh, Jacob do rub the cock. Uh, he wants to know what do people in other countries mean when they say they want American for dinner? Hamburgers and French fries. School shootings. <laughs> oh. I mean, the obvious answer wow. is hamburger and french fries right. that's like a uh, can i ask you a question what did you see the the chinese immigrant deal on david with david hogg no so it was a really good fucking video i'm definitely pro gun just so you guys know yeah uh but there was a chinese immigrant that came over from china and she actually experienced going through uh like arms being taken away right and she went and david hogg is probably one of the shittiest people on the face of the fucking planet and Mm. she goes to a talk that he is speaking at and she asks him um can you guarantee that the federal government will not be tyrannical at any point in time and david hogg goes no i cannot guarantee that and he goes or then she goes well, then the gun debate is over. I am going to have my fucking guns forever. And it's like, oh, yeah, pretty much. So Yeah, I mean, that's, I like it. that's what the Second Amendment's for. Correct. I, I just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. But anyways, uh, yeah, what do you think, uh, you know, American? When you think American food, what do you think American? Honestly, like fucking tacos. But not, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, American like food. shitty yeah. food. Tacos, like like American spaghetti. tacos. No, no, no. You know what I'm like? Not 100%. fucking authentic. Like, 100%. go buy the old El Paso refried yeah. beans and the old El Paso shells, shred some lettuce, it's, shred some cheese, it's tomatoes, so funny. and ground beef. Spanish and just, gardens, yeah, right. taco yeah. sauce. Spanish rice, the, the it's, nor it's fucking. So funny. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny That's because you're 100% of, correct. Or it shitty is. fucking pizza. 100%. Yeah. It's pizza. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, I agree. Uh, next one uh, comes in from Taylor Moroski. I thought, well, uh, welcome back, Taylor. Well, welcome back, Taylor. Not to be outdone by uh, Braxton. W- no, fucking Wayne Fargnoli. Oh, Taylor's yeah. back to back. She is back to back. Uh, Taylor wants to know what are the toughest experiences kids today will learn when they become adults? What a real bully is. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a good one. That you're not a fucking cat. That's another one. That reminds me of Always Sunny. That, You're not a fucking. Do you know cat. what I'm talking about? I, not necessarily. Hey, Maureen, wow. use my sound. Maureen I, Ponderosa. I threw the pen down uh, and it hit your sound. Oh, Maureen Ponderosa. She ended yeah. up having like surgery to become a cat, and then yeah, she died Maureen, falling off of yeah. a roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> believed that she was a real that's, cat. That's good shit. I actually really do like or that. Or Dennis killed her. One of the other. Yeah, we don't know, other, we don't know sure. for sure. We don't know for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, and the next question, Taylor wants to know, things that would be better if you could do them naked. Frying bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> no. I just wish that it was safe. No. Absolutely. God damn it. That would you got to wear one of those face shields like for covid but you got to put it put around it your, your dick yeah 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 <laughs> no i still make that mistake at least i'd say once a month not naked but i'll just be frying bacon shirtless and just have a moment of like ah, damn it yeah. son of a bitch golf yeah golf bowling oh. swimming golfing naked would be i think biking might not be so great i want to say that people would leave you the fuck alone oh, if the, you were golfing naked i don't nah. think so yeah they I know. Would. oh totally they, they might, leave you alone. That they guy might but today the police won't that guy would have rolled up naked on his car <laughs> yeah. and been like hey you know uh you ain't supposed to be on that native grass native fucking grass <laughs> oh shit I am so sorry. I'm still pissed off. This guy is living in my head rent free. Not good. Oh, it's not good. 
Uh, and uh, next question comes from Mark Aaron Deffenbaugh, the serial, serial killer. killer. <laughs> He's yeah. in the book already. Yep, he is. Is that because he has two first names? No, he has three, three names. names. Oh. Three but, names. Okay. If you have three names, you're a serial killer. Noted. He wants to know, Disney lines that can be used in the bedroom. Uh, be my guest. <laughs> I don't know. I My initial thought was something to do with like, uh, but I didn't think it, you were black. It's the mermaid, little mermaid thing, something. I don't know what it is, though. I don't know the joke. I can show you the world. <laughs> Just as you're fucking, you go, yeah. shining, shimmering, splendid. splendid. I could do the entire song. Oh. I could probably do the whole movie right now, Probably. Actually. I can, too. Yeah. How about you? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. I think that's a good one. Uh, and last but certainly not least comes in from Mason Lind. Uh, I did modify this one just so it would make sense. Uh, but he wants to know, what's a good way to psych out an opposing beer pong player? Um, I don't know. Let me go back to the fucking 90s <laughs> and I'll tell you. <laughs> right. Like, Come on. What? Come on, man. I missed out on that. I was, You missed out on beer pong? I did. Yeah. Oh no! I mean, I went through a that little bit, but flip cup and all. I missed I didn't, out on fuck that. Fuck flip cup. I was so too. F- uh, no offense. I was too old. I, if I wanted to drink, I just did. Yeah, like, I know. I didn't we played have to quarters play a, game a to lot. Do quarters. Yeah, we yeah, would quarters. Do quarters. Yeah, quarters. It, was, it was mainly just like. So we used to do it without alcohol. We used to have where like one person practice. went to the fridge and mixed up some nasty concoction you would never uh, want to drink uh, in your life, and then we play and whoever. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I no, that. no, I'm out. Uh, I got psyched out once playing beer pong. Why? Somebody pulled their dick out. That's nope. what I would do. Somebody was like, "Get off the grass!" And you were like, <laughs> I'm "So angry!" She showed me her tits. Oh well, there oh. you go. Well, it sounds then, like you won. And then I married her. <laughs> That's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful is. story. That That's is. how it all ends up. All right. Yep. So yeah. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday, Friday. We sincerely do appreciate it. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and uh, JP won. Three, yeah. three baby. times in a row. Three real wins, and I'm going for four. You're going for four. Oh, man, I think I can get it. Which is bullshit because you won because of the stupid colorblind bullshit. You don't know that. Which I do want to get JP his colorblind glasses. Hey, you don't know that that's why I won, man. It's 100% why you won. Yeah. Um, but the thing is... I don't care. I'll use I don't it. care. I, I don't care. I still won. JP will actually have to go in and get looked at in order to be able to buy said glasses. I love being looked at. I know you do. So, but that's good. But anyways, uh, it's in the process and uh, we're probably going to do it, by the way. Because I made a bet with you, by the way. Did you yeah. remember the bet? That I wouldn't. That you that think you, I'll cry. I think you'll cry. No way. I think you'll cry. One hundred percent. We'll I think need to get cry. some balloons and stuff. One hundred percent. Absolutely. A, a few different bags of weed. You'll be able to appreciate weed a little more. <laughs> sure. You'll be like, now I didn't that realize. Be, okay, that I might cry. <laughs> then I might cry. Like, you're right. I may cry then. Yeah, you'll cry. You're gonna fucking cry. Uh, but anyways, uh, so thank you guys for uh, for voting uh, for JP last week. Uh, but uh, keep it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this week's draft is going to be one that we actually have done before. But I did it with uh, the OGs. Oh yeah. So we're going to redo it. We're going to redo it. Fuck them. <laughs> 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 yeah, Derek's in fucking Japan. Fuck him. Uh, but anyways, and Jeremy quit like a little <laughs> bitch. He's yeah. Uh, he's we alive. still love him. Uh, we still love him. Uh, but this week's draft is going to be our favorite Disney songs of all time. Yeah. Right? And because JP won his three-peat, 
He gets the last pick. He gets the championship picks, and he gets a belt on his. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, yeah I do. I, I put a belt. I love that. Yeah, I put a belt. I saw that it was awesome. <laughs> I put a belt uh, for whoever wins. But anyway, you should have three belts. You should have three belts, yeah. but make that happen, sir. I, I can probably do something. I know you can. Um, but anyways, JP gets the championship picks. I get the sandwich picks because I came in second. Very well. And uh, you know, Mike. Came in the, the you really came last. in second. I came in second. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah good job. Yeah, uh, but and, yeah, it's so. hard to lose to Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but anyways, so Mike is going to kick this draft off with what is your favorite Disney song of all time? Well, we sang a little bit of it earlier, yeah. so I'll just say a whole new world. A whole hey, it's new a good one. world. That's a good one. That's what that's what inspired this draft was yeah, us it, randomly singing that song. It is. Have you seen the dude that they pull from the audience and go up and sing it with the person that actually sang it for Jasmine's part? No, no. Oh, I, I'm I'm like up in up in the middle of the night at two o'clock in the morning and I'll watch that shit. Mm. Huh? And he killed it. It was a good job. And I'm the gay guy. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Shut the. Seems fuck right. Up. Yeah, speaking of gay guys, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna make a man out of you by uh, or in uh, Mulan. Mulan, yeah, mm-hmm. man out of you. Okay, all right. How about I'm so curious what JP is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking curious. All right, JP, you get uh, two in a row. Circle of life. Circle of life is a very good pick. Yep. And I've Hakuna seen that. Matata. Ah, you motherfucker! God yep. damn it! Ah, that sucks. The Lion King's my favorite movie. It is a good. Like, it's in my top three Fuck. favorite movies God of all time. Damn it! I was really Those hoping. Are both. Like, I was hoping for phenomenal. Circle of Life. God damn it! That mm. sucks. Okay. Um, no, nah, I'm not picking that shit. I'm not picking that shit. What are you gonna pick? Yeah, man. You're not supposed to be looking these up. You're just supposed I to know. know them, well, because you took it's my fucking Disney movie. You took you two of my goddamn picks. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go. Yeah, that that list is shit. I'm gonna go with uh, the one from Moana. What is that one called? I don't know. Uh, can you sing some of it? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I, I probably can actually. Um, oh shit! Come on, come on, Moana's come on. Moana's a little past my time. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I know, but it, it's it's good. Uh, Moana, come on, Moana. Let's see. It's the one that rock the rock sings. How far I'll go? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How far I'll go? That's the one. Uh, all right, Mike, you get two in a row. Uh, first of all, part of your world. Part of your world mermaid. from Little Mermaid. That's that. a oh, that, that's a good one. Up. Look at this <laughs> stuff. That was all Isn't right. it neat? <laughs> Da, 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 and the next one, uh, this song, I actually, this was before, look, I have goosebumps still thinking about the, the that. nostalgia wow. of this, uh, before they printed the lyrics inside the album. So, okay. so I would play 10 seconds of this song, pause it, write down what I heard, and then rewind it back to the beginning again, just because okay. I wanted to have all of the lyrics, and that song is Be Our Guest. <laughs> Oh, Beauty that was my beast. next pick, you son of a bitch. God, you're so gay. That I even very next I, pick. I remember having oh. to ask my parents what Cherie meant. Because he says, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what does that even mean? And they're like, it's just like a lady. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I, I've... <laughs> I, I have... I have, a, I have quite a few. And uh, there's only one that I think that I need to have in my arsenal because Robin Williams sang it. Then what is that? Oh, uh, he never had a friend like me. The genie, the genie song, yeah. yeah, yeah. Friend like me. That's a good one. I've got to have Robin Williams in there. So I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, JP, you get two in a row, douchebag. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, I can't wait to be king. Oh, another one from Lion King. I love that fucking movie. <laughs> it is okay. a good movie. It, it really is. The 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 actual animated one. The 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 real yeah. life one is okay. Like they didn't change a lot. It was pretty decent, yeah. but it's not oh, the no, animated good, one. No. Okay, no. you got one more, dude. And uh I'm gonna go with Let It Go. 
from uh, Frozen. Of course yeah. you are. I was never, yeah. never going to draft that shit. Yeah, dude, I, I love I, that fucking thing. I, it was on my list of potentials. Yeah. I yeah. know for a fact that that's one of the best fucking songs that yeah. Disney has ever sure. produced. But you I, hate it. I hate yeah. it. I fucking hate it. I only love it because Will Ferrell did it on Lip Syncing. Um, <laughs> okay, all Lip right. Lip Sync Challenge with Jimmy Fallon. All it was right, fucking that's, phenomenal. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go. My next pick, people are going to be like, what the fuck's that? <laughs> I got to take it. And I think actually, I think you guys missed out on yeah. on the, the Little Mermaid. Under the sea. Oh, yeah, that is a good one. Under the sea. Yep, I'm going to go with Under the Sea. Cool. All right, Mike, you get two in a row. All right, one of them is The Bare Necessities. Ah! I didn't think there was any way anybody else was going to take that one. Uh, I saved it for last, you motherfucker. That's one of my favorite... Oh, that's good. Man. Memories that's, of Disney. Yeah, me, me, me and dude, I was oh. like, "There's no way they're gonna take it. I'll save it for last." You prick. You eat ants. Oh. <laughs> you better believe it, oh. and you're gonna love the Bare way they tickle. Dun, 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 and then dun, dun, dun. I guess, I mean, it's it's one of the it's a, it's a classic. I'm gonna just say Beauty and the Beast. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. And and you know what? I I again, I like that song. Would never draft. Okay, I just couldn't do it. <clears throat> now, if you're gay like JP, he would have drafted it. You know what, man? What? I am gay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have drafted it. Okay. Is it, did we all pick? Or no, 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 no. You no, have no. one more. No, I've got. I've got. I've got one. I've got one. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna pick a Lion King song. <laughs> Oh, don't do it, man. I think it's the one I'm going to go with. Be prepared. That's cool. That ain't it. What? I don't even know what song you're singing. What? You when, never heard when of When he the... gathers all the hyenas. Yeah, Scar, man. Talking about taking uh, over. Dun, 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 dun. I, I, okay, I'm going to let JP pick, but I've got one that I really wanted to pick, but I didn't because I don't think anybody would know who I it have is. several like Okay, that. all right. Go uh, ahead, go JP. Ahead, go ahead, JP. I like how you made fun of Scotty for looking up. I gotta shit. look at what it was called. It's from The Lion King. Oh no! Oh yeah, can you feel the love tonight? Oh well, that's, that's a good one. That's so gay. It is. Yeah, and that's why I picked it. <laughs> well, I really only picked it because Mike fucked me. <laughs> why? What did I forget? The what I picked? Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. think there was any chance you were gonna go for that. You have all Lion King songs except, one. except for one, dude. Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. There you go. <laughs> That's right. A vote for me is a vote for all gay humanity. <laughs> Just remember that. Uh, so so what were the ones that you were going to pick, but you didn't think anybody would know? Uh, me? Yeah. It's not that I didn't think anybody would know it. I just thought they were uh, the one from Toy Story. Yeah, I know. You got yeah. a friend in me? Yeah. You got a friend in me. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, super f- uh, Califragilisticexpialidocious. I, I was going to go a spoonful of sugar. But, uh, uh, have some medicine go down. That Fuck that, that. When You Wish so Upon stupid. a Star from uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, a real boy. Uh, <laughs> kiss the girl from Little Mermaid. Kiss the girl's a good one. Yeah. Go on and kiss the girl. That's not the one, though. I'm surprised. Mm. I'm, I'm really Don't surprised that nobody... Uh, you remember Oliver and Company? Oh, I do. Why should I worry? Yeah, that was a good fucking flick, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I love that fucking song. It's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, yeah. Anything else? I think there were some w- couple in All Dogs Go to Heaven that were pretty decent, oh, too. Oh, shit. I can't watch that movie. I love that I movie, I can't man. watch that movie. I'm a dog person, yeah. and I cannot watch <laughs> yeah. that fucking movie. I, I want people to die and not dogs. I want dogs to live forever. So that's it. Uh, anyways, uh, that is our draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for the list of your favorite Disney songs. And you can go to Twitter, too, mm-hmm. X, yeah. uh, at L-O-T sidelines. Vote there, too, because that makes a difference, because I almost beat you. No. I would almost have if you no. didn't fucking mess up what you wrote down for uh, my things. Yeah. My my answers were the word sing and the word dance, and you wrote, like, a good singing voice. I did. And like dance moves or some bullshit. <laughs> no, I said wish you could dance. Good dancer. 
Good dancer. I think if you had just put sing and dance, dance. people would have understood more and voted for me. Well, do us a favor and go and vote at laughing on the sidelines slash uh, or facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and Twitter or X, which is at LOT sidelines. Vote for your favorite and whoever wins gets a mouth hug from JP. Yeah. I gave myself one in the last three weeks. <laughs> oh my God. That's so cool. But anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week brought to you by motherfucking JP and Mike Baldwin. Also brought to you by MikeIsFunny.com. <laughs> there was some dude that was like, how many times are you going to let Mike plug his... <laughs> as many times as he wants. As many times as he fucking wants. He yeah, comes it's, it's on this wor- show. It's working, too. You should hear it about really all the money is, yeah. that <laughs> you should people see have been sending. All the money yeah. that people Literally have zero dollars. <laughs> yeah. But um, I got I get clicks, you know. People yeah. watch the special and yeah. stuff like that. Like I'm just that's the only reason I am dude. N- no offense to your guys' friendship and stuff, but yeah. the, the main reason I'm here is self promotion. You know, man. I love you too. I mean, I like coming here, but it, <laughs> if it was, it, it, you have a a good if audience. If it was just me, you wouldn't show up. Oh, it's not that oh, at all. No, okay. I just mean like I have people come up to me at my shows that are like, dude, I wouldn't have been here if I didn't love this podcast. So yeah, much. yeah. So every time you invite me on, I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll do it. It's I'll, fucking crazy. I'll get at least one new random fan out Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and JP just doesn't have anything to, to do. He just is, you know, he's gay. He's weird. Why do they stop at 300 and bowling? You would think like enough people have gotten 300 that they're like, all right, just keep going. Well, that that was how many people were at the Battle of Thermopylae for, you know, the Greeks. What and that's why. <laughs> Something is 300, very man. No, but like if you can bowl a 300, you could probably bowl a 400. No, if you because kept you, going. you don't keep going. But you should be able to. I would. Yeah. If me and another guy both got a 300, I wouldn't be content being like, we're equally good. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm fucking better than you. I bet I can keep hitting <laughs> strikes. You let me know how that works out for you. You should try it. <laughs> Don't do a, a scored game. Just be like, how many strikes can we get in a row? Bring your fucking bowling pin next week. Okay. I've done that. I mean, that's what you do every time you bowl. You try to get as many strikes in a row as you can. <laughs> but Bring, then once right. you get to 300, you're like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I'd be like, fucking go again. Keep going. Get an well, 11th you kinda one. Do. Or whatever. I mean, you can. You do. Then you, it's called. That's called the series. You you guys you guys should legitimately see JP's notes because he doodles every every fucking episode <laughs> and it's and fucking, I'm bad at it. it's fucking hilarious he just on. sitting there doodling just mm. sitting is, there is this what your <laughs> school work looked like when exactly. you were in school why do you think i'm poor now and the teacher was like i can't why do you think i'm 46 year old waiter <laughs> yeah oh shit anyways ladies and gentlemen this week i did good in school <laughs> <laughs> this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is would you rather have to drive behind a logging truck for how long? Uh, just a, a uncomfortable amount of time. So we're gonna go with ten miles, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with thirty miles. Okay. Yeah, thirty miles behind a logging truck, okay. or would you rather have uh, you know a chair thrown from the balcony and you try to catch it? You catch it, or you're not paying attention and it hits you. Oh no, you're trying to catch it. Oh, well, well, you're still going to get hit. Exactly. You're not going to catch it. Well, and the, and I, it depends oh, what the chair is de- made it, out of. And it also depends on how far high or how high it's coming from. And how high I am. 20 floors. Oh, God. yeah. I'm going with the logging truck <laughs> all day. If how, it's a, how many floors does it take before it becomes like a second? Three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two okay. or three. All that's, right, fair enough. It just depends on the weight of the chair. If it's like one it's of those chair. plastic stackable chairs. Oh, yeah. One of the stackable Even chairs. I feel like that would hurt more <laughs> because it would have fucking, he could get some more fucking velocity with it. Yeah. Nah, I would, I mean, I would drive behind a log truck because I don't give a yeah, fuck. It doesn't too. freak me out at all. Yeah, me I, too. I don't want that's a chair easy. thrown at me. No, from any distance any distance really i'm, I'm going catching, log I'm, truck i'm catching the fuck out of that chair yeah yeah you're probably not so i hope <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a rough day yeah you have and man. so i i choose death 
There you mm-hmm. go. I, I mean, that's just kind of the thing that I'm on right now. I just, uh, fucking native grass piece of shit. I'm fucking pissed, and I just want to catch a chair. So I'm going to catch the chair. And I don't care if it's coming from 10 floors or 20 floors. I'm going to catch that motherfucking plastic chair. I'm going logs all day. All right. You guys can you guys can ride behind logs all you want, but guess what's going to happen? I'm going to be speaking at both of your fucking funerals, so hope you guys yeah, have but, a good time. But you're going to be speaking with a slur after the head injury. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Get you're gonna hit have, with a fucking chair. You're going to be have one of those things where you type it, and like, uh, you're going to be fucking Stephen one, Hawking. A hundred percent. I'm like, I'm like what shit. kind of chair? And you're like, it don't matter. Yeah. So I just imagine. Imagine like somebody throwing a fucking lazy, lazy boy, boy. Yeah. a throne, the twentieth story, and be like, oh, "Oh, I gotta." Oh shit, guys! This was a very, very fun episode. I, I thank you both very, very much. Thanks, uh, Mike. Yeah. Where are you? Uh, where I, are you doing? I'm in Wichita lately. this week. I'm opening for Nick Hoff at uh, uh, Vorshay's yeah. on Friday and Saturday. Hey, I know the owner of that club. Yeah, I do too. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Steve it's Peters. Steve. Yeah, he's one of my good friends. <laughs> yeah. I lo- I love that place he's and an awesome and man. I love that dude. Yeah. Um, and then next week I'm in uh, Omaha and Lincoln, one night each at Backswing Brewery. Okay. Is, is that a golf thing? Backswing? I would think so. 100%. All right. So all you golf nerds, come see me. I'm not going to. But I tell you what. What? What are you doing next weekend? Me? Yeah. Uh, shows at Vorshay's. You want to, you know. Come do this show again? Yeah. You want to do it? Maybe. It depends on what the viewers think. Here's the thing. JP, JP cannot be replaced. I have found this out. Yeah. JP is the favorite. I'm unreplaceable. He is and the fucking look, favorite. It is. Well, we can't replace him, but we could like get somebody else instead of him, right? He could fall in love with somebody and then end up saying, fuck you to the show. That'll that's never true. happen. <laughs> I, I would never do my fans that way. Yeah, it's true. Plus, I'll never fall in love no, with but anyone. You down for that, Mike? You want to come next weekend? Yeah, on Sunday again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can probably do that. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking I'm gonna, about. I'm just, just saying probably for now. Probably is good. I'll, go, I'll live on a probably. Oh, yeah. My uh, whole life every is time probably. Steve's on the show, it's a probably. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do. This is crazy. This, this show is, is actually starting to fucking grow pretty rapidly. It's insane. Uh I'm getting notices and stuff like that it's from people awesome, saying it's like I'm getting people on a fucking golf course coming up and telling me I can't drive through native grass, but he knows who I am and yeah. he knows what podcast I do. Good deal. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Good deal. Uh, but thank you guys so sin- like sincerely, very very much. We sincerely do appreciate all that you guys do. Keep on sharing our content. Every TikTok that we do, keep on commenting, liking. We sincerely do appreciate it. And as always, we like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, we hope you get arrested for driving on native grass <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us tell your enemies and until next time guys oh i don't got nothing you got nothing i got nothing yeah, for fair this enough. i forgot fuck off for driving on native fucking grass get off the lawn you piece of shit and <laughs> as we always like say uh, guys keep on laughing assholes we will see you next week take care bye